Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Dawson here back again on our Google Classroom. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and are looking forward to some of our activities that we have for today, Monday. Um, it was really nice seeing a lot of our friends on our Google Meets on Friday. If you weren't able to attend that session, we will have another session this Friday where we can um, discuss and talk about a new topic that I will um, post pretty soon. Um, it gives us just a chance to kind of socialize together, to see our friends that we're missing so much at school. So I look forward to seeing you all there on Friday. Let's go ahead and um, do our Good Morning Hello song together. If you want to go ahead and sing with me and join with me, that would be wonderful. Here we go. Very good. So thank you for singing that song with me. Each and every morning just kind of gives us, gives us a chance to wake up and um, to say hello to all of each of our, our friends and Mrs. Dawson. So thank you for doing that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at today's activities on our at-home learn learning packet. So we are moving on down to our fairy tale theme today. So um, along with fairy tales, we have a couple of different activities to choose from today. Um, one of those activities includes our reading, so we can read a fairy tale, which we will also do together right here. And we, we are going to um, talk about some of the characters that we see in there. How are they feeling? Uh, maybe how would you feel if you were that character in that situation? And uh, maybe think about what the characters should do next. Maybe if there's a problem in the story, what is, that, uh, what is that character going to do to solve the problem? For your fine motor activity today, you can use dry beans, Play-Doh, um, anything small, maybe like coins, to uh, trace the numbers on your number card. So remember that your number cards were at the back of your packet. They kind of look like our letter cards right here where they have the number and you can create those um, using the, the lines that show you which, which um, way to create those numbers. It's a good way for us to practice those numerals that we'll need in kindergarten. Um, for letters and sounds, if you have a pipe cleaner, maybe you already have a wand at home or um, something long that could serve that purpose, you can go around the house, find different objects, and then as you point to them, say the object, and then also say what the beginning sound uh, um, is. So if I pointed with my wand to the light, I would say light starts with l, right? So see how many you can find, and maybe for a challenge, you can listen for the ending sound. So if you were doing light, the last sound that you heard in light was that T, so you can maybe do that as a challenge as well. Find the beginning and the ending sound of those words. For your math today, you can make a tall number towel 
sorry, I make a tall number tower, that's a tongue twister, um, for the prince and princess. So maybe you can make a vertical number line with the number cards that were also created in our packet. So a number line um, goes from left to right and we can see the numbers progress as it moves along. So maybe trying to think of something you can use with that. For your art and set or sensory focus, you can cut a long piece of paper to create a crown. So I know this is one of our favorite um, activities for us to do um, during our art center time, is to create crowns using long pieces of paper, tape, um, staples, create it and measure your head, staple it, and you have a nice cool crown to wear. And then for your challenge today, your challenge of the day, your question, um, is to do that STEM activity, that STEM challenge. So see if you can create a castle using materials that you have around the house. Maybe you already have blocks, maybe you have um, cups. Cups are really great to stack with and uh, make them really tall. Um, and to see what else you can, you can add to that castle. Maybe a moat, maybe a bridge, um, maybe you'll add some characters to that castle as well. Okay, so those are just a few of our um, activities to try for today for our fairy tale theme. Um, go ahead and give a few of those a go because they're, they're really fun and they're a great way to just practice our um, academics in a fun um, play environment. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look at our story for today. Since our story, our, our focus is around fairy tales, I decided to choose a story today that was about a fictional character or a couple of characters you'll see in the story. And the title of the story is called Jack and the Beanstalk. Have you guys ever heard of this story before? Okay, if not, let's go ahead and read this together. And even if you have read it before too, it's good to read it again and see if something's different that you remembered or um, something the same that you remembered from the story. So Jack and the Beanstalk. The illustrator who drew the pictures is Ian Smith, and it was retold by Lisa Charlesworth. So when a story is retold, it means that there used to be, or there are different versions, there are different stories that are um, about Jack and the Beanstalk. So it's retold, it's told again um, through somebody else's um, writing. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this together. Jack and the Beanstalk, a folk and fairy tale reader. This is Jack. So can you see? This is Jack. A man gave him magic beans. Wow. So here's our character, Jack. Jack went home. He gave the beans to his mom, but she was not happy. Hmm. I wonder why she wasn't very happy with the beans. Are there very many there? Not really, huh? The beans are bad, said his mom. She threw them out the window. The next day, a plant grew. It grew and grew and grew and grew. It got very tall. Can you see how tall? Even taller than their house. Jack went up the plant, up and up and up. He went up to the top. What did he see? Jack saw a castle. The castle was very big. Jack saw a scary giant. The giant was sleeping in a chair. So if you can see his zzz, that means he's sleeping, right? All those letter Z's. Jack saw a magic hen. The hen had laid an egg. Wow. The egg was gold. Take this egg, said the hen. Thank you, said Jack. Then the giant woke up. Oh no. Fee, fi, fo, fum, he said. He was mad that Jack had the egg. Uh-oh. That's a big problem. What is Jack going to do? If you were Jack, what would you do? Would you run away? Oh no! Jack ran and ran and ran. He ran away from the giant. Jack went down the plant, 
down and down and down. He went down to the bottom. Jack cut the plant so the giant could not get him. Then he gave the gold egg to his mom. His mom was so happy. I was wrong, she said. The beans were good. And that is the end. So if you could see in our fairy tale story that we read today, um, there was a problem in the story when Jack, one of the characters, um, discovered that giant in the castle. So he had to overcome that fear. Um, he ran away as fast as he could. And in the end, the problem seemed to have been solved because he was able to give the golden egg to his mother and his mom was very happy to um, get that in return. So it was great seeing you all today here on our Google Classroom. I will see you again tomorrow on Tuesday and I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to call me, um, to contact me with, through my email or through Remind as well. Okay, I will see you all soon. Bye.